Hi guys, and welcome to another episode here at Chance from Your Body TV. On today's episode, what we're going to talk about is why you should be reading the back of food labels. Now, there are four main reasons why you should be reading the back of food labels. And the first one is the constant decrease in quality. Now, food manufacturing companies only really care about one thing, and that is higher profits. So if they can get that and decrease the quality of the food, making it cheaper for them to produce, then they're going to do it. And that's been happening massively over the last 100 years, but especially over the last 20 years. The quality of our food over the last 20 years has taken a massive nosedive to um, you know, a, a fraction of a percent sometimes, depending on the food, where it had the nutrients in that it did 20 years ago or 50 years ago. So there's a constant decrease in quality, so take a look on the back and see if you can recognize that. The second one is language trickery. Quite often they'll have stuff like sucrose, maltose, dextrose, fructose, using scientific language to confuse you of what it actually means. Now those four mean sugar, there's a lot more that means sugar as well, but they'll use this language and complicated scientific words to make sure that you don't really know what's in it because reading sugar, 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 sugar on the back of your packet is probably going to make you less likely to buy it and they only care about higher profits. The third one is order equals quantity. So if you're seeing, for example, in the back of the packet, water, sugar, fat, that means that there's more water in it than there is sugar, than there is fat. The order of the, um, the, order of the uh, ingredients sorry, um, means the quantity that it's in. So the first ingredient is the one that um, is the primary ingredient, and then there is secondary and, and, and third and fourth and fifth. And so once you get down to the last ingredient, that means that that is the least, that makes up the least of what is in the uh, composition of the food. And the fourth point is don't be fooled by the marketing. Fresh and natural look really good on the front, but if you turn it over and you start seeing this kind of stuff on the back, then that's going to kind of flag up some alarm bells to you guys, and you should be realizing that fresh and natural is what's made to sell the product. So they're going to be they're going to be putting stuff like that on the front, and there's very very loose guidelines as to what needs to be in it for them to put stuff like fresh and natural on the front. Just because there's 1% of fruit in it, they probably put fresh and natural on the front. But if you actually turn it over and start seeing all these ingredients, you're going to realize that it's not actually as fresh and natural as you perhaps thought. But guys, that's four reasons why you should be reading food labels. I hope it's given you a bit more insight into it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.